on uh, how to write the same code for the Arduino and the BeagleBone Black. Well, so the Arduino is a microcontroller. Uh, it basically has a lot many pins. It has around 14 general purpose input output pins and six uh, analog input pins. Uh, it's a microcontroller, so it doesn't really run an operating system, but this is one of the most famous platforms and the most widespread development boards that ever existed. Uh, on the other hand, this is a BeagleBone Black. Uh, well, the BeagleBone Black is conceptually different from an Arduino because it has a processor. It has an ARM processor from Texas Instruments. And uh, what it means that it runs an operating system by itself. Uh, the cool part about this is that this works very similarly to the Arduino. So what you have to do is you have to connect a USB wire from this and you connect it to the laptop and your Arduino starts work. Well, the same thing works with uh, the BeagleBone Black too. So right now it's connected to my uh, laptop and it's on. I mean, a, a computer is basically connected to another a computer. So what we're going to do is we are going to use something called as a beacon cape. Uh, it's available uh, from Circuit Pro. Uh, what it does have is it has an RGB LED. It has a slider, uh, slider potentiometer. It has a seven segment LED display and it has a user configurable button. So what we're going to do is we are going to put this one on the Eagle Wound Black, and uh, we are going to run code that's meant for this on this. And I'll right. Uh, so, what we have to first do is uh, there are a few initial setup steps. For example, you need to have a cross compiler toolchain installed on the machine that you're going to be using as a development platform. Uh, so I'm going to be needing a cross compiler on my laptop. Uh, so you'll need one too. So the instructions to do all of that are on basically a wiki page that we have created. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, so this is the wiki page that I'm talking about. So this is all the uh, information that you need to get started with. So you need the angst, uh, latest Angstrom uh, tool chain. You can get the 64-bit or the 32-bit from here. Uh, then you have to follow these three steps once you have uh, the tool chain downloaded. And that, that will basically make your system ready to start compiling for ARM. Uh, the next step is uh, the next step is purely optional. You can set SSH keys uh, so that you don't have to log in uh, to your BeagleBone Black every time you connect it uh, to it, connect to it, or you want to upload code. So what you have to do is uh, basically, if you're running Linux, you have to follow these steps. Uh, all of these utilities are basically already installed on your machine, so you don't have to install anything new. Uh, and once all of this is done, all these four steps are done, you can log in without a password into your BeagleBone Black. Uh, the next thing uh, that we're going to do is we are going to install, uh, sorry, clone code uh, from this page. So this is the project page. Uh, this is our project page where we maintain our code. Uh, so fire up a terminal. Just a second. Yeah, so I'll create folder. Now what I have to do is this. So this will basically fetch the library and a few sample codes that we have written for you to get started. Uh, so the important part about this project is that a lot of code exists on the internet for the Arduino. A lot of libraries, a lot of documentation, a lot of examples. So the thing is that we are trying to get all of that to work on the BeagleBone Black so that it will save uh, people a lot of time to get started with something new or to get started with the BeagleBone Black at all uh, without getting started on the Arduino 2. Because uh, the Arduino platform has been a tremendous success because of its usability, because of its, because of its ease. And we basically want to replicate that for ARM boards. And the thing about the project that we're doing is that it's not basically limited to the BeagleBone Black. BeagleBone Black is the first step that we're taking. But this will work on any other ARM board which has a similar structure. OK, so we have finished cloning the get repo. Uh, so I will 
So, so what we have here is we have an Arduino Makefile folder which has all the examples and the Makefile. The lib Arduino folder contains all the libraries and the utility contains the code that we need to upload. Uh, code uh, upload the executable to a BeagleBone Black. So. Uh, we'll go into the example folder. So as you can see, we have quite a few examples here. Uh, first, we'll start with the pulse width modulation example. So we've configured uh, three pulse width modulation pins on the Eaglebone Black, uh, which will be con which are connected to the beacon cape, uh, and these are configured with the RGB LED that's on board. So what you have here is basically. Uh, dot ino file which is similar to the one that you have with arduinos and what's inside it is the same structure i mean you have declare you can have declarations outside of the setup loop you have uh, another uh, setup and a loop function the setup function runs only once and you have the basic initializations in that and in the loop function you have the code which keeps on running forever uh, unless you press control c in our case which will then stop it so what we have here is we have configured three pins, uh, pins three, five, and six. So this is configured to the green. Uh, RGB. This is the blue, uh, whereas this is the red uh, pin of the RGB LED. So now. To compile this, uh, what we have to do is run a simple make command. It will create all the files which are necessary. Uh, so if you see that now we have a build user space function which will have our executable if you want if you want to do something specific. Otherwise, all you have to do is just train, run make upload, and that will basically start to send your file and it will start executing. So just a second. So yeah. This is what's happening right now. I configured, I uh, made, compiled the code using make, I then uploaded it using make upload, and now I have my example running on the beacon cape, which is connected to my beacon boom black. So basically, you can see the three different shades in varying intensity, as is evident from our code. All right, so to break the execution, you have to press Control C in our case. The next example that we are going to see is the uh, seven segment display example. So basically the Bacon Cape has a seven segment LCD LED display. Uh, so it has uh, this example folder has a similar structure. It has a seven segment IONO file which has my code and it has the make file. So if you are going to write your own example examples or your own code, all you have to do is create your own directory and you have just to, you have to just copy any make file from one of the example folders and it will create and when you run the make command obviously it will create your uh, executable files and if you run make upload it will upload your code to the legal boom class. So next thing is, uh, like we did it for the previous example, I'm going to run make. It's going to generate all the files which are required. And the next thing is uh, I'm going to run make upload. All right, so now uh, basically we have a slider potentiometer here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so basically we have a slider potentiometer here. And as I slide the potentiometer, the values change. I'm sorry about the LED because uh, that's making it the visibility difficult. But what it happens is it runs an analog read in a loop. And based on the potentiometer value, it reads a value and converts it on a scale of 1 to 10. And then uh, whatever the value we have, it is displayed on the seven segment LED using a shift register. So we have the shift out function, which is available in the Arduino lib library. So we have configured that to work with the BeagleBone as well. Yeah. 
yeah so that's it i mean we have many more examples if you want to uh, look at some of the other examples please uh, visit our wiki page we are also on github as you saw and uh, we if you want to uh, take part in the development process uh, we usually hang out on hash user space dot id you know on uh, free node uh, thanks for watching uh, have a great time thank you